Life, Love, and Pop Pop Culture. Hi guys, I'm Danielle Delgado. And I'm Ryan Carnes, <laughs> and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. So we're here once again talking about your film, La Bola de Valentina. It came out in theaters a couple months ago. What was the reaction from fans? Um, the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, I mean, I don't really pay attention to anything negative anyway, so okay, yeah. it, even if there was, I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have sought it out. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, like based on feedback that people have given me on Instagram, and you know, there, there's been an outpouring of of support and love for the movie. It's mm -hmm. been really great. At the same time that the movie came out, you did a little something. I have to show. Uh oh. <laughs> You this picture. No, it's, it's not bad. What did I do? What did, what did I do? I mean, you kind of did this, oh, right? This yeah. men's health. I, I did do that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about I this experience. That, yeah. I Well, uh, now I know Now I know why the ladies love him. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it was, it was fun. It was, it was really amazing. It was the first time I'd ever done, it was the first time, I think it was the first time I'd ever been on the cover of a magazine. And it was definitely the first time that I'd ever been. No, that's not true. Years ago, but with other people. Mm -hmm. First solo cover of a magazine and first men's health cover. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty surreal. Yeah. I remember when the producer called. She actually woke me up one morning and she said, uh, Ryan, I'm, I'm pitching you and Omar Chaparro to men's health for a cover story. Nice. And I was like, what? That's crazy. And then and she said, yeah, we should know in a few days. So then a few days later. Uh, we got word that they had said yes and, mm -hmm. and they wanted to do it. That's so good. And I was still, we, we were on set shooting it and I was still pinching myself. And then when, when, when it came out yeah. again, I was, I was like, what? what? I, it's I crazy. It. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's just, it's, I've always been into fitness and health. Uh -huh. And, and so for me, it was, it was, I think extra special because of that. But uh -huh. also, um, I mean, it just felt like a really cool really felt like a really cool achievement cool. Mm -hmm. that, that I had nothing to do with, you know, other than being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. So I was really grateful. So, last time I talked to you, you said that you were going to be going back to General Hospital. Mm -hmm. So do you know how your character is going to be yet? Like what's happening or not yet? We just talked like three days ago. I know, but we didn't get into detail. I'm still going back to General Hospital. No, but uh, you don't know like what's going to happen with your character yet? Or I do. I, I know a little bit of what's going to happen with the character. I mean... What I can say is that my on the show, my husband and I are adopting a baby. And, you know, you can imagine from there, anything can happen. Okay. Are you ready for the crazy soap opera schedule again? Yeah, you know, it's, it, it's, it's an adjustment. Like, uh -huh. after working on a film set where things are much more deliberate and slow and it is just a much it's a different animal mm -hmm. and so going back to back to the soap is mm -hmm. is like I gotta be on my toes and I gotta yeah. be fast because it moves very very quickly and um you know I, I have to there's not a lot of wiggle room for mm -hmm. oh let's try this or let's try that it's like no we're we're, go. we're doing it yeah and it better be good mm -hmm. we have seen each other at many events in the last week so i feel like we're like best friends at this point we're totally bffs so as my new best friend i have to ask you when are you taking me on the set of journal <laughs> <laughs> well um that can, like that, can, that can be that can that can be discussed i though i have to say over the over the past few years the the security there has gotten much tighter and you know they don't they don't let riffraff in. So there, we're, there's there's best we're, friends though. <laughs> I'm gonna there's there is a very very strict uh, approval process. I'll see All what right. I can do. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Right? I didn't know you were such I a big fan people. of the show. I know your people. <laughs> yeah. I told you this. I tell you this like every time we meet up. I'm like, I grew up on General Hospital and all my children. So all my children is no longer on air. So. Yes, this yeah, this is true. But I didn't know that you that you were such a big fan that you would want to visit the set. I stayed home from school to watch. All right, I'll will see what I can do. Okay. I would I would love to have you as a guest on set. You guys heard it. I'm gonna hold him to it. And I'm and I'm sure that everybody else there would love to have you as a guest. Um, so I'll see what I can do. All right. I can't make any so promises. Right, before I let you go, though, I have to embarrass you one more time. <laughs> Again. Yes. I mean, look. Don't post anything if you don't want me to find it, okay? So it was Good a rule of thumb, that's fair. It was recently like everybody just posted like their first headshots. Oh, yeah. You posted this <laughs> adorable picture, which I need you to explain a little bit to me. 
Yeah, so <laughs> I you know I didn't realize that that was my first headshot until very recently when people were talking about their first headshots. Yeah. And I was going through my my phone, my pictures, and I and I saw that, and I was like, huh? I guess that was my first headshot, even though I wasn't acting at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I was five, I think I was five in that picture. Yeah. Um, I was crowned Western Illinois Fair Prince. <laughs> I was a prince. That's cute. Okay, that explains the crown. Yeah, that ex that's the that's the deal with the crown. I didn't. I maybe I should have specified that in my <laughs> post. Uh, that's why I was wearing a crown. Got it. Okay. And I and I was n in no mood to be photographed wearing the crown and the sash and my and my spiffy little suit. There. Yeah. I was in no mood. I wasn't having it. And it so I let him know. It's adorable, though. Well, I guess that was, it. maybe it was telling of the future. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, for being thank with you. me. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to tune in next time, guys, as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.